Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the rumour that Ben Affleck has been offered $30 million to return to the DCEU to play Batman once again. If true, this could change the DCEU completely. So let's discuss this Ben Affleck Batman rumour. So this report comes from GiantFreakingRobot.com, who titled their article as Exclusive. Ben Affleck offered huge deal to return as Batman and lead major crossover project. Now I asked around and it seems like this website is pretty inconsistent with their scoops, but have been correct in the past, so let's take this rumour with a pinch of salt. The website stated, The story of Ben Affleck as Batman is a long and complicated one. When Warner Brothers first announced that Affleck would be portraying the caped crusader all the way back in 2013, the fan backlash was swift and brutal. He persevered through the early days of the Zack Snyder-led DCEU, even though he would later describe it as the worst experience. Now before we go any further, that final statement is completely wrong. Ben Affleck said his worst experience was on the Justice League reshoots with Joss Whedon, it had nothing to do with working with Zack Snyder. The article continued, Ben Affleck will be returning one last time to portray Batman in the upcoming Flash movie, if it ever actually gets released, and then he should be done. Except that our trusted and proven sources have told us that Ben Affleck has been offered a staggering $30 million payday to come back to the DCEU as Batman and lead an adaptation of Crisis on Infinite Earths. But will he? Now at first glance I would have to say unfortunately I think this article is a rumour and nothing more, and I have three reasons for it. The first is that the website is not a very trustworthy source. The second is that they didn't even do their research as to what Ben Affleck was referring to with the worst experience quote. And the third is that Zaslav has been talking about cutting costs and not wasting money but yet apparently has offered Ben Affleck $30 million to come back as Batman. Things don't seem to add up. However, this website has got some scoops correct, and we do know from Grace Randolph and other more trustworthy scoopers that in the latest version of the Flash film, Ben Affleck doesn't die, but instead is transported to a nightmare future. Not only that, but who was teasing a crisis event? Zack Snyder. Now this may be a stretch and probably is, but what if they got mixed up with the Crisis on Infinite Earths rumour? Instead, what if it's actually Final Crisis? What if their source got mixed up between the two? Clearly they have inaccuracies in their articles, so what if this is just another inaccuracy? $30 million spent on one actor and on one film does sound ridiculous, but I don't think that $30 million would be for one film. It sounds like Crisis would be multiple films, not just a one and done. So if it is $30 million spread over three films or more, then that investment does make more sense. It really depends on what their plan for Crisis is, and currently we don't have enough information to make an educated guess. So I would take this report with a pinch of salt and hope that it is correct. There is evidence for and against this rumour, so we should just stay patient and wait for more information to come out on this matter and hopefully from more reliable sources. My optimistic side says yes, Affleck will return and team up with Zack Snyder again to create Final Crisis which could be the new Justice League 2 and 3. Snyder had been teasing it and the reports that Affleck gets teleported to a nightmare future at the end of the Flash would indicate that that is what they are setting up. You combine that with the fact that Affleck was busy when Snyder asked him to do a scene for the Snyder Cut, but because it was Snyder who asked him, Affleck wanted to do it, then maybe Affleck only wants to do a Final Crisis project if it is with Zack Snyder. The level-headed side of me thinks that he has probably been asked to return, but is still unsure due to his experience on the Justice League reshoots, and is just taking his time to decide whether or not he wants to come back. I have to be honest though, the more I think about it, the more the optimistic side makes sense. Ben Affleck loved his time as Batman when working with Snyder, but then he was in a very dark personal situation and when the studio interfered, he left the role. He wanted to close off the character in The Flash, but really enjoyed his time on the set and now has created an open door where he can return. 
The place where Batman is going to be sent is a very similar aesthetic as to what Snyder's Nightmare Future was going to be. So maybe Affleck said to the studio that he is interested in returning to the character, so they decided to send Batman to the Nightmare Future so that he could work with Snyder again on Justice League 2 and 3. It's a lot of maybes and what ifs, but who knows, the Snyder Cut was released, so anything is possible. But do you believe that Ben Affleck has been offered $30 million to return as Batman? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!